All right, all right, all right, baby, Aquarius. Why you keep them so delirious? It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vibra, it is Scorpion Red Tarot. Happy New Year, my darlings. What is going on? Listen, we're in this piece to find out what the energies are surrounding you. For January 2021, baby, we're here to have fun. I hope all of you guys have enjoyed yourself thus far. Let's get ready to tap into some amazing energy. I hope you guys got a little wine, a little snacks, or whatever you, you know, whatever your little zhuzh is, honey. Because we about to get all the way into this tea. So listen, shout out to all my OGs, shout out to all my newbies, shout out to all my babies who have liked, shared, subscribed, and clicked this video, or any one of my videos in the past, presence, and we're going to call them on in into the future in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hello. So listen, um... If there's anyone that would like to book a personal or private reading with me, the only thing you need to do is click the description box of this video or click the about tab or the, you know, bio tab to my YouTube page. And it gives you various ways to connect with me and various ways to support the page. If any of these videos resonate with you and you just want to send a little love and support to the page. All right. So if you would like to connect with me for a personal and private reading, um, go ahead and send me a message on Instagram messenger. If you do not have Instagram, just email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. We'll get y'all hooked up over there at the good old, um, Google Hangouts. All right. So, Let's get into this energy. Before we do that, let's always say prayer and just give God the creator, the universe, whatever you want to call him or however you want to acknowledge him. Uh, thanks and just, you know, you know, just give him just thanks. <laughs> so, <laughs> Father God, we want to thank you so much for bringing us here today. Thank you so much for um, bringing us this blessed energy for the collective sign of Aquarius, Father God. We have just like kicked our way right on through the door of 2021, Father God. We're here. We got a lot of things written down in this book that we're trying to accomplish this year, Father God. We've been writing everything down. We've been checking our list, you know, and just, you know, collecting new, new, new ventures, like new ventures like there's so much new ideas so many new creativity so many new visions that have just been collecting in our minds and our thoughts and that's why we're having to slow ourselves down and write it down this time and you know just like not just be spitting things out and just talking about it no actually sit down write it down plan it out make a little structured web of okay this is the goal but i need this and i need this and i need this and i need someone to do this and da 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 and don't feel like you got to take on everything and do everything by yourself it's like teamwork is the dream work aquarius so listen father god we're just so thankful for all of the new projects and all of the new levels of functionality that we could just work in just successfully at this you know time in our life father god we have definitely been developing our skills during this you know lockdown shut in time so give us the guidance that we need to receive for the sign of aquarius you know uh for january 2021 uh thank you again for all of the blessed energy in the past present and especially all of the blessed blessings in the future father god please give us guidance today we pray amen let's get it to it all right all right all right all right Aquarius, Aquarius. Let's see what we got for Aquarius. January, let's get three cards. Alright. Let's see three cards for Aquarius. Thank you. <coughs> What's this? Ooh, the Three of Cups. All right. I like that. A lot of positive connections, partying, you know, getting together. Look, you said Corona ain't stopped me doing <laughs> Look, I've still been partying and been getting together and going out doing things. I'm here at football. Three of Hearts. Three of... Oh, sorry, the Three of Hearts. Well, I guess that is like the Three of Hearts. So... We got the three of cups and then we got the three of swords in the reverse. So I want to say like you guys been partying, making new connections, been helping you get over like heartbreak or whatever type of suffering that you have went through in the past. Like, you know, again, the dreaded third party situation, verbiage, every, I don't know. I don't know why everyone loves seeing this card though, the three of swords. Why do people like... I feel like when people see the Three of Swords, they run to click the video to see what's going on. And if they're like, third party situations is not 
the thing to be in and it's not the thing to do and Aquarius is very much so where like y'all are tired of that shit y'all don't want no parts of it like at the end of the day I got new connections I got other things that I could be doing I don't have time to be stressing and worrying about what somebody don't want to do for me okay so like listen you don't want to do it somebody else to do it like I'm too popping <laughs> like I'm so sorry about it like I'm so not focused on that not focused on that enjoying new cups Hanging out with my family. You got the page of pentacles and the three of pentacles. I like that. Most definitely. Things are definitely coming along for you within, you know, network connections. Like, they say something about you being a party planner. I don't know if you, are you like developing like a new business to be a party planner or something? Are you learning like some type of new skill, some new trade or something? Remember I said somebody is like um, learning some type of new skill, like they're writing down uh, these new ideas, these new visions or stuff. It's like the three of pentacles is where you're learning something. Someone is teaching you something new. Like you might have got an invitation. Uh, someone was looking out for the cookout. I want to say, like, someone that you had connections with kind of, like, put the uh, little bird in someone's ear to, like, hire you for a position to kind of let you in, take you in as an apprentice or something. Um, I want to say, like, they could be feeding you information. They could be feeding you, uh, yeah, it's like. I want to say like that's a hands-on approach. Like someone is literally standing there with you, teaching you the ropes, like showing you the ropes about something. So you definitely, there's a lot of threes right here. There's a lot of threes. You got the three of cups, the three of swords, and the three of pentacles, and the page of pentacles. So this is basically all new situations, all new energy. You're not focused on this old heartbreak shit, making new connections learning new skills, totally new environment. I want to say, like, you are enjoying new connections. Like, you're learning shit from these people. These people are fun to hang out with. Like, you're totally not in the place where you were in the past three months. Like, I want to say, like, the past three months of your life might have been hell. Very transformative. But things turned out for the better. Like, things most definitely turned out for the better. Things are working for you. Things are looking up. People, and again, it's saying like people is funneling, funneling you information to help you. It's like, it's like to influence you to like make better decisions in your life. So it's like they may be giving you a hand up, a step up. Like, uh, I don't want to say like taking you on like a charity case or something, but I am kind of getting at it. It's like. Come on, I'm about to let you come hang out with me and my friends. Like, we about to go to this party this weekend or whatever. You got to dress like this. Like, please make sure that you dress to impress. Because these are real sadiddy ass motherfuckers. But you can make some really good connection. I'm trying to tell you, like, all the shit you stressing about, that shit's going to be over. We're going to completely rebuild. Like, rebuild you with new friendships, a whole new character, a whole new, like. I want to say that this may be, like, a project for someone to help. Like, redesigned you, like, pick you up again, like, getting you in the right place with the right people. It's like, you shouldn't be so down like that. Like, no, like, let me hook you up. Let me put you at this job. I'm going to, you know, meet you. I'm going to hook you up with my friend or something like that. They're going to let you in the door. We're going to show you the ropes. We're going to show you how we do things over here. Like, like, forget all that old shit. Like, you're good. You're good. Don't worry about it. Yeah, they're like, I'm going to fix you. You're going to fix yourself up, get you a new house, new home, get you new fabric, new clothes, like new connections. It's like, we don't even, it's like, we don't trip on things like that in this part. Like, we just move on and just keep going. Like, there's, the sun is always shining. It's like, there's nothing to be sad about. Like, there's absolutely nothing to be sad about, Aquarius. <laughs> like, so seriously. Ooh, okay. All right, so you got the eight of, Okay. You got the Eight of Diamonds, you got the Two of Clubs, and then you got the Two of Hearts. So, <laughs> okay, we're well, reloading. So, um, the Eight of Diamonds to me represents someone having to 
pay attention to their finances, to their resources. The Eight of Diamonds, I want to say it means like a lot of fast communications. Like, I don't know why I'm getting like telecommunication or something. It's like some coming through a live wire. Um, like boom, 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 boom. It's like a lot of reciprocal energy is what they're saying. Reciprocal energy. So it's like you may be speaking positive energy into the universe and they may be sending a lot of positive energy and a lot of positive signs back. So I don't know why I'm getting with that eight of diamonds. It's like you may be getting up speaking a lot of positive energy into yourself. Um, it's like doing self check, self revenue. You know, it's like um, you're checking your revenue of like what you have, your reservoir. <laughs> you know, it's like you're filling your tank up. You know what I'm saying? You're filling constantly making sure you're checking your assets to make sure that you're not losing anything that there's no loss that there's positive growth there's positive gain like you're feeding it into yourself even if you're not getting it from other people it's like you're feeding it into yourself you know um i want to say it's like high energy like a high i want to say like a high energy like almost like a high sex drive too i don't know why i'm getting that maybe because i'm getting this like right here so the two of clubs to me is like um I don't know why I'm saying it. it's like transportation. It's like movement forward. It's like to me, it's like an action card. It's um, why am I seeing it's like a race? You know, like the race where they, it's like that baton race where they put the baton in your hand and it's like your turn to go or something. So it's like someone pushed you ahead, like. I want to say pushed you, gave you a head start. It's like the baton is in your hand. It's like your turn to go. So it's like your turn. So, um, again, I want to say like you guys are being invited somewhere. Because remember, it's over here. It's like you guys are being invited somewhere. And it's like, it's like they're pushing you out there. It's like it's your turn. It's like they, it's like they taught you, they taught you how to run the race. It's like you've been tra in training or something. It's like you develop some type of skill. I want to say like you could be an athlete. You could be very physically fit, or I want to say in shape for this position or to like do this this time. The two of hearts is like um, new friendships, new partnerships. Um, a new love interest. Um, I want to say just shaking, just meeting someone new's hand. Um, attraction. I'm getting like an aroma, a scent. Um, ooh, it's like a vibration. I'm getting like a butterfly feeling in my stomach. Like almost like a nervous energy almost. Um, and again, it's like having to do the self-check with, it's like, Checking yourself, making sure that you got all your shit together, that you're not losing yourself in the connection. That's kind of what I'm getting here because it's like, I got a lot and it's because I lost a lot and I, re I finally regained my strength. I finally regained a lot of things. So it's like, I'm not willing to take any loss like I did before. You know what I'm saying? It's like, make a positive new connection, something that fits, something that, you know, you could mold to the standards of you, which you believe in. It's like you're finally finding some type of truth, some type of happiness, or some type of cause to, like, gather yourself and, 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 and to sprint forward is kind of what I'm getting here. So, while I'm on the clubs, let me put... The two of clubs means a social... And y'all can read the card if y'all want to, because I don't feel like reading it. It says, a social or business invitation business or social correspondence or any kind of benefits being or giving or exchanged a gift a birthday or anniversary present something being given or received not limited to material things only it, the gift could be someone's time or someone's energy given freely it may be a piece of helpful advice or a special favor a special favor or even a bit of good news a clock the time that's what the two of clubs mean so the eight of diamonds where we go the eight of diamonds it means caution K 
careful planning, balancing the books, financial restrictions, the need to curtail spendings, up and down of money management, cycling money, tax planning, numbers counting, a person wearing glasses, the watchful eye. So again, remember what I was saying, something that's like, it's like a lot of shit going on and like watching what you're doing, like watching yourself, like paying attention, like checking yourself to make sure that you're balancing yourself along the way that you're not losing yourself and like some type of new connection, new communication, like what, you know what I'm saying? And this newness, because there is some type of greeting or, uh... I want to say, I'm serious, it's like some type of invitation, like someone being invited to something, someone helping someone in some type of way. So, um, the two of hearts, the two of hearts means love, it means affection, emotions, a child, pregnancy, expectancy, a pet, emotional excitement, remember I was saying like butterflies? talent, artistic ability, love and exchanges, a love letter, or good news. Okay? So, hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's like you may need to curb tail spending, though, because you see, again, it's like someone helping you with something. I want to say it's like, uh, Say someone helping you pay some type of membership or something, some some like membership dues or fees because this has something to do with like some type of work membership. Something has to do something with some people working together and working on something. It's like curtailing some type of spending, like watching your money, watching your time, watching it. And and, and again, I want to say it's like. You've made a lot of powerful connections and things like that. Like, but watch yourself. Don't lose yourself in. Don't lose yourself. Like, pay attention to your job, your work, everything that it is that you've been creating. Like, you've made a lot of powerful connections, but make sure you pay attention to your resources. Like, don't be spending a lot of money trying to like dress to impress because you're in this new fancy group or something like that. You know, this society or whatever it is. You got the chilling confirmation and you got the key. So you got chilling confirmation and you got the key here. So this is like you making a decision to um I want to say like expand yourself to expand your opportunities or something. This chilling confirmation, this may be a chilling confirmation. I don't know. Um, I want to say like you may be really excited about doing this, but um, they're saying something that's like about you kind of being scared to take the chance. It's like some certain level of risk or something that you would have to take. Um, and again, they're saying something about curtailing your spending. It's like, why am I getting like something may be too expensive for you to take on or to do? It's like some type of membership fees or some type of membership dues. And it's like, but it's, it's like someone's giving you the money. It's like someone's helping you with the money. Like you see how this person is like literally lowering down it's like so they may be lowering down the price for you so that you can like you know pay your douche or your membership fees or something like that because it's like it's, i don't feel like these people want you to miss the party it, but they don't want you to spend all your money it's like but whatever this is it's like they're teach they're going to teach you how to make more money Whatever, whoever these people is, they're going to teach you how to make more money. Look what this person is doing. This person looks like he's making money or something like that. Most definitely. And, and again, I'm saying instead of focusing on heartbreak, it's like focusing on how to like make more revenue, how to ex you know expand your your financial. Um, 
your financial uh, situation. What is this? One, one, one. You are a magical creator. Your thoughts are being manifest. They're saying to elevate your financial situation. I'm sorry, I was getting on tongue tied. Need one more. What is this? You got brown grounding, stability, and foundation. Yeah. This situation right here. Um, I want to say your skill and ability is going to set you apart from the others because I want to say you are you do have the tenacity to be a little reckless in your spending I don't know why it's like I don't know why I kind of feel like if it's something that you want to do you're going to do it um you kind of really don't care about the cause because it's like you'll figure out a way to make it back anyway or something like that but at this point in your life, I feel like you're old enough where it's like you are kind of trying to stop doing that. It's like you're not trying to compete with nobody but yourself. Um, and it's like the only reason why you feel like you're not, again, then you got the bread, you got the hospitality, and then you got the hummingbirds, and then you got the sweetness right here. So Aquarius, I definitely feel like these people are going to be willing to lower the price down for whatever this group is. Because it's like you're trying to like open up the door and unlock this other side of yourself. Like you're trying to be more sociable and you're trying to advance yourself by making sure that you're connected with the right people this time. You know what I'm saying? You're paying a lot of attention to your finances. You're really trying to save your money. You do like to go out and spend a nice little cute coin on yourself and things like that. But it's like, as long as I'm around people that like bread, that like these people like good food, making lots of money, spending lots of money, saving lots of money, <laughs> partying, like talking, like social networking, business, like this, this. It's a big business organization. This is a big business group. You're very lucky to be in this organization. And I definitely see them lowering whatever the cost is. Because of how sweet you are. How, how, how hospitable you are. You're very helpful. You're very nurturing. You're very giving. Like, And that's the only reason why they're willing to do that. Is because of the type of person that you are. You're very grounded. And I definitely see a lot of positive things coming to you in life. There's new love coming to you. You're definitely going to meet new people. And I'm trying to tell you, someone is like putting a word in for you, like, nah, I need you to get her up in here because I want to meet her. Or it's something like it's people watching you. You see how it's like the three women over here and you got the three dudes over here. So it's like, I feel like this is like a workplace or this is like something like you just might be a part of the right fucking social group. And again, I want to say this like someone have a, like sending some money to you. I want to say it's like this person's like sneakily doing it. Well, I'm like someone's like paying your tuition or paying your fun or paying your dues. It's like you don't even know who's doing this. Like you over here chilling with your friend and stuff like that. Why do I feel like someone is paying for someone's tuition or something? What is this? The Empress? So this is like the Empress in the reverse. The Empress in the reverse is like you being redone. It's like renewing yourself, like rededicating yourself to like your creativity. I want to say it's like your body and your mind and your skin is getting like a different up care treatment, a different like body regimen or something. It's like different about you that isn't the same of the, of the way that you used to carry yourself. Um, I want to say like lefts is more like you may in the past maybe put on a lot of perfumes like yeah like a lot of heavy fragrances or stuff like that may have wore like a lot of well they're saying like Fendi Dior and like you wore like a lot of like name brand and stuff like that uh, 
get it saying fragrances or something. It's like you're putting on less fragrances, like not really worried about the, the name brands and the fashion houses and things like that. It's like, um, I want to say you have like a more natural appearance now, like very natural. It's not you. It's not who you used to be at all. You got the Queen of Wands in the reverse. The Queen of Wands is like, again, like I'm getting like a simmering. It's like you're simmering. It's not you're not blazing hot. It's like you're simmering down a little bit. You got the King of Cups. Emotional mastery. Yeah, it's like a slow simmer. It's like when fire meets water, it's like it causes steam and it brings it down like a blazing hot you know, fire to a slow simmer and it's like steamy or something like that. You got the four of cups in the reverse. No, this is the four of pentacles in the reverse. And then you got the page of pentacles in the reverse. No, the page of pentacles in the upright. So the empress in the reverse. The queen. But see, this is like... These two together should be like the queen of divine power and the queen of confidence and the queen of sexuality and all of that stuff like that. The queen of beauty and ambiance and all that stuff like that. It's something about... Y'all are saying natural is pure. It's like... It's, I, don't, I don't know. It's something It's like a taming, uh, a calming down, like... Not being so spicy, not being so uh, back talky, like you know, in upright, like the queen of of of, of wands in the upright with the empress. It's like someone is beautiful, and you know, and she knows she's beautiful. Like she's always doing something. She's a spitfire, like you know, always joking around, and just you know, I do feel like. I don't know if it's like you guys matured a little bit and it's like I want to change my ways like I want to give off of a more regal energy I don't want to seem like I'm always running around all over the place doing this doing this doing that it's like kind of giving off like a masculine macho feminine energy or something it's like I don't want to do that I want to kind of just like slow things down a little bit take my time and like trying to find ways to reinvent myself and throw away the old trying to figure it's like I'm trying to figure out what the new is a little bit again it's I don't feel it's like you guys are um in a situation where I feel like you're tempted to overgive a little bit, this is definitely something new. This is the Page of Pentacles. So the Page of Pentacles is like a level of acceptance, of, of building, learning, planning, developing something. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I don't want to hold on to... It's like I, I'm willing to invest. I'm willing to put a little bit of money in this. I'm willing to do something this time where it's like I want to say you wasn't before like yeah that's what I'm getting I want to say like in the past like divine feminine spitfire sex appeal ferocity rah, you know what I'm saying like you was just all of that I want to say running all over the place bouncing around like you knew who the fuck you were and you didn't give a fuck and you were just like listen do you see this body do you see this energy do you do you know what I would do to you in the bedroom like you don't even want to see me it's like I want to say like you slowed down like again like you may have had all of the children that you wanted to have like you don't feel the need to like parade your sexuality and your sexual liberation anymore it's just like I just want one relationship kind of sort of like I don't know like you still might be kind of in between that little border here because you never know with the queen of you never know with the queen of bonds in reverse with the empress in reverse you never know but I definitely do feel like it's someone changing like I'm I'm not like that no more I'm you know what I'm saying I'm calming it down
I'm slowing it down. I'm recreating myself. Hmm. Because I want to say it was like an energy like no one could tame you. It's like you know, you thought well of yourself and no one could tame you. But it's something here about this King of Cups, this Pisces Cancer Scorpio male individual like this this person right here it's like this person he doesn't hide how he feels about you he lets you know he's really trying to court you he's really trying to date you he's really serious about you and it's like i don't want to give him the impression that i'd be out here running around like that you know what i'm saying like at all i definitely don't want to give nobody that, that impression like I'm making very influent connections right now. I just want this person to see me making big business, saving my money, not overspending. You know what I'm saying? Trying to show off, trying to do anything, but doing just enough that, you know, like even asking, you know, shit, can I get a discount? You know, I ain't trying to spend, you know, I got to save my money. I got to watch what I am doing. It's like not being frivolous here. Not being frivolous, but again, it's something about knowing when to hold them and knowing when to fold them. It's like when I was hot and I was spicy, I was holding back. I wasn't giving nobody too much. Now that I'm calming down, I'm thinking about opening up myself and giving a little more this time and investing in myself. It's like I'm not going to hold myself back from this person that is like, Showing me that they're trying to engage in my life in this type of way. I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to, like, get to meet these new people and discover whatever this new access is that I have. Because it's like, it's like I'm no longer suffering from heartbreak anymore. So it's like I'm paying attention to better, and, and better things in life. I'm just being very cautious. And watching what I'm doing with my money while engaging with this, these people. Because I want to say, like, these people got money. Whatever this group is, these this is big business. These people got money. Like, you don't like that. Like, you're just getting into this group. So, it's like, don't go broke trying to keep up with the Joneses. Like, socialize and party with the Joneses so that you can figure out how they make their fucking money. You know what I'm saying? And... Because you deserve to be a part of this group. Like, don't lose yourself trying to fit in. You know what I'm saying? You already fit in. You already got in. You know what I'm saying? Like, they lowered the price for you. They understand what your situation is. They're cool with it. Don't try to, you know what I'm saying? Don't try to do that. Just, just pay attention to what you're doing and make these new connections. And meet this new person that you're about to meet. Because, like, all right, give me that. Thank you so much to clarify this. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, no. Okay, so I'm I'm trying to say I'm trying to say this in the nicest way possible. They're saying it's like um you don't want to end up being the laughing stock because of some level of like ridiculous behavior because this right here means of like someone being fraudulent like you know fraud like caution someone doing something too risky someone taking a loss um like hidden information some level of misfortune or devastation something unseen so again it's like if you and this right here means like exposure, damage. So if you go into this society of people not being you and trying to put on and it's like you're going to be exposed for your ridiculous behavior if you do decide to do that. Do you understand what I'm saying? So... This, okay, you can't see this, but it, it's showing me this. So, I'm going to tell you what's unseen. That's kind of what I get from this. Um, this in the, okay, 
so this is how it came out to me. This is in the reverse. This is what this looks like in the upright. This means like the wild ox. The color is orange. Um, in the upright, this means like, you know, your willpower, your power, your raw energy, your physical strength, speed. You know, like um, untapped, untamed potential. Like, you know, it means good health. Um, your femininity, your wild instincts, freedom, action, tenacity. It means your sexual desire, your vitality. It means a strong male sex drive and all of that thing like that. Like, in the reverse, like, again, this means <laughs> the wild ox. Remember I was saying something about someone... It's something about someone's ridiculous behavior. You got to really be tamed. You got to really like. You, it's something about you really being real regal. Real regal and respectable. Um, you can't be disrespecting yourself. Like sleeping with people in the organization. And just like scatting around and that's not my language so like I don't say scatting around bruh but what this means is like this is what you're not going to see it's going to be unseen remember I was telling you like this right here it means like fraud hidden info the unseen loss misfortune cost caution someone so it's like if you And again, it's saying someone's scatting around and they're saying just unforeseen behavior. It's like they wouldn't have let this person into the organization if they thought that you were going to be doing that, like scatting around or some shit. It's like misbehaving in some type of way. It's like taught you better than that or something. Remember, it's like something about watching watching yourself and you know what I'm saying something about taking a risk with their finances and and the people in the network and things like that so advance yourself but don't advance yourself too much that you'll look like a fool or do anything that would create jealousy or any type of mm -hmm. Because there's something about these two right here. Something about these two right here. Something about these. Because cause, cause these two right here, especially in the upright to me. In the upright to me, it's like they could just. Someone is well aware of their beauty and their power and their strength. You know what I'm saying? But in the reverse, I try to look at it in the best positive way period because I don't know why in this sense I was thinking like when the cards were in the upright it was someone that was too fucking full of their self and it's like you can't go into this group doing that you know what I'm saying like because it's not going to make you look good it's going to make you look foolish it's like you got to calm that energy down and really tame yourself and try to recreate yourself and to a more regal fruitful and just beautiful spirited individual like you could be beautiful and not walk around and make people think that you're less than them because you look better than them or because you have better design clothes than them or you know what i'm saying because the queen of wands is very fashionable she's like she be on her shit body may look good like you know all of that all of that so it's like you may need to tone that shit down like don't be going thinking, I don't know. I don't know why I have a feeling to tell y'all that. But it's like, don't take the risk. It's not, like, the, these are good connections. These are good people. And they're going to call you out for your bullshit. And they're going to boot you out. Especially if you came in the group off of a favor of someone else doing something for you. And you're going to go in there and embarrass somebody because of your behavior. You know, it's like... Well, they're saying like someone acting destitute as well, like, especially like, please, please don't do that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, because this is like a pyretic victory. You know what I'm saying? Like stealing, like, you understand? Like 
pyretic. So it's like someone being a pirate, like just going and snatching and taking and stealing shit that's not yours. You know what I'm saying? This is this means like forfeiture of whatever it was that someone gave you. It's like you gotta hand it over. It's like you know what I'm saying? It's like forfeiture of your application, of your um, you know, your access to this committee. It's like you acting like that you gotta fork over your key. It's like, you know, you gotta give it back. It's like your flaws being you know, exposed, like, you being dominated by other people, you know, um, misdirected force, like, inconsistency means lust and ignorance. It can mean callousness, violence, rashness, like, aggression used in the wrong places for the wrong reasons, like, overuse of brute strength, uh, uh, uh brute force. Uh, it can mean sorrows, illness, weaknesses, it says modesty is demanded, wasted efforts, the need for restraint. You know what I'm saying? So modesty. Remember I was saying that? Jesus Christ. So it's like, again, again, y'all heard what I had to say. And again, like there was a reason y'all, y'all can't see it, but I can see it. And this is not faced in the right way. It's faced in the wrong direction. You know what I'm saying? So, and again, this means lust. So I want to say it's like someone scatting around. Like, I don't even use that word. But, y'all, that's why I'm going to title this shit. Good connections don't use it by scatting around. It's like, nah, anyway. Aquarius, y'all, why y'all, why y'all got them delirious out here? Why y'all scatting around? Listen, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I will see you guys next month. Peace.